it's me Ashley and welcome to Face Mask Friday. So yes guys, it is Friday and as ever that can only mean one thing, it is Face Mask Friday. Amidst the craziness that is going on in this world right now, I thought I would still try and keep up with my videos as usual because, you know, everybody needs a break from, well, the craziness. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to do and you know doing a face mask is a bit of self-care that's kind of good for you and it's really easy for everybody to do if you have some face mask skin if not please don't go to the shops and get them it is not worth it there are plenty actually of homemade ones you can make check out you know google and things Jake Jamie does some fabulous ones so check him out okay so my skin at the moment isn't too bad I had a breakout when I was on holiday and it didn't really come to anything but it's kind of left a red mark um, but other than that, my skin's kind of okay, really, generally. Because what it is, I have a little redness on my nose, but that's kind of my life. Um, my hair's pretty much just been shoved up all day because I haven't really been doing anything. I watched it this morning, and because of the rules at the moment, we're only allowed to walk in once a day. So I did this morning, and Chris is out there with him now, actually. Anyway, I'm blabbing on. Let me show you the mask I plan on doing today. So I thought today we would use this one because I thought it sounded quite healthy. Um, this one is the Lacura, which is from Aldi. Don't recommend going there at the moment. <laughs> Unless you're desperate for food, go get your essentials. Um, this one is an avocado moisturising sheet mask. And in here we actually get two, I believe. Um, I can't remember how much this was. I think, I think it was $1.99. So, and again, it's two, so that's fab. So in here we get two little packets of our avocado nourishing sheet no moisturizing sheet mask i'm going insane so there's instructions on here and they also have the instructions on the back of the little packets themselves so i'll just hold this up for you guys and let you know what the instructions say so basically it says that you basically i'm guessing open the packet and then unfold your sheet mask and um, kind of fold it out to the shape of your face you pop it on your face and then wait 20 minutes. So the directions just say, thoroughly cleanse and dry the face, remove the mask from the foil sachet, apply the mask over the face, ensuring it's smoothed out of the skin and then leave for 20 to 30 minutes. And then remove by peeling away from the edges. 20 to 30 minutes is a long time for a sheet mask. I don't think I've ever had one that's like 30 minutes, but we'll give it a go. So yes, my face I cleansed earlier with the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Love that stuff. Um, so let's just whack this on. Let's just do it and see what it's like. So I'm going to open it up. This is the first time, by the way, I'm using my new phone camera kind of thing to do the um, Face Mask Friday. So hopefully it's working well for Face Mask Friday as well as other videos. Okay, so here is our mask. Seems to be quite saturated in product, which is always a good thing. So I'm just going to try and open that out. Um, it's really kind of saturated. It's, which I think is good. It's good. I think the last Aldi sheet mask I used um, was pretty decent, and for the price, you can't really complain. This one seems quite small. I don't know if that's all like wide. It seems quite. Yeah, it's not like a long face one, but it seems quite like horizontally um, long rather than vertically long I don't know um right let's give it a go I feel like that's gonna like come onto my ears or something I don't know let me know if you guys have tried these by the way I've had this I think for a, like a month a few months possibly okay maybe I have to put it quite low on my forehead I feel like there's a hole but is these the kitties Wide at the sides, yet yeah. the whole area of my forehead up there. I feel like a fish. It's very cold. Um, it fits quite well, other than it's really small on my forehead. <laughs> I don't really know what else I could do about that. It comes down really low on the chin. Um, like I said, it goes out really wide at the sides. Um, a really good fit, other than it's obviously designed for somebody without much of a chin. 
but genuinely the rest of it actually fits fabulously I am slightly worried that I've bought like a children's one. It is just supposed to be like a, one of their kind of vegan skincare range. Okay, so it's gone on. It feels fine. It feel, felt really cold popping it on as a lot of sheet masks do. Um, like I said, it seems quite saturated in serum, which is always a good thing. It says to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to go away now and then I will come back. I've kind of had a day doing jobs and now is my time to chill. So I'm going to do this. Chris has given me an early birthday present. He's given me a Sims 4 expansion pack. I haven't played The Sims for ages. It's one of my like old school faves. I played it since like game one way back when, when it was literally just that's all there was, was just The Sims 1. <laughs> And I got it from Woolworths, so it was a long time ago. Um, and I've always enjoyed it. It's something from my childhood that I kind of go back to now and again. Um, haven't played it in a while, and to be fair, I haven't had a fully working laptop in a while. Um, there is a desktop PC that I use for editing my videos, but that's kind of something that Chris uses as his office work too. So Chris has lent me his, his laptop, which he's not using at the moment because now we're in lockdown. He's pretty much solidly on his PlayStation. <laughs> so anyway, I am blabbing on. Um, I'm going to go and install some Sims games then and I will be back in 20 to 30 minutes and let you know how this mask gets on. Hey guys, so I'm back. It has now been um, between 20 and 25 minutes. It says to leave it for 20 to 30 minutes. Like I said, it's usually a bit longer, sorry, it's longer than usual for a sheet mask. Um, this one, okay, so it's worn absolutely fine, other than these bits keep kind of flapping. Um, it is what it is. The fit is weird. This bit, as with most masks, just doesn't want to kind of, it's really loose this one. I don't know if it's cause it's so wide. I never get along with this bit on face mask, so it's fine. But yeah, these bits that are like extra flappy have been quite loose. But other than that, it's actually stayed on absolutely fine. I mean, I haven't really done anything startling. Like I say, I've been, um, I set up some Sims games to download and I've been writing up some work notes. So other than that, I haven't really done anything. So on the box, there is no real instructions for taking this off. It just says to um, remove by peeling away from the edges. It doesn't give you any kind of massage in the excess like some do or some say to wash off after you. So I'm guessing I don't need to wash it off. Most sheet masks do tell you to kind of massage in afterwards. So I think we will go with that one. Let's just peel away. Like I say, it's felt absolutely fine. I'm just disappointed that I've, that's happened, but that's fine. Look how wide that is. That's bonkers. <laughs> okay, so my face straight away doesn't feel like there's an awful lot of excess serum on there. There's a little bit, maybe not as much as some, but I do. I did think when I put it on that it felt like there was a lot on there. So I don't know if that means it's sink into my skin, if it's just dried being in the air. Get some of that top of that forehead. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't feel as sticky as some like serums do you know and it feels like really sticky that feels like kind of moisturizing if you know what I mean like like putting, putting on a moisturizer I guess that's kind of the feeling I feel like my skin looks very glowy um and it actually does feel really nice so I can say these cost about £1.99 I believe and you get two you can't really go wrong with Aldi they do so many great things and they have um Obviously some new vegan products, which is excellent that, you know, more places are doing things like these. These are cruelty free. Um, yeah, this is the only thing I've tried from the Aldi vegan range. They did have like different creams and bits and bobs, which I was tempted to pick up at the time. But I have so many creams and things I kind of didn't need to. But now I know that I really liked this mask. Maybe I'll pick up some bits and bobs. Let me know if you tried anything from the range because I'd be curious to know what you think. So this was nice. Um, avocado nuts. There's no scent at all to that mask, um, but no, I enjoyed it. So it says it helps to firm and soothe the smooth the skin, and I do feel like perhaps it has helped smooth my skin, and my skin does feel kind of like I said a bit glowy. Um, so it's got avocado oil in it, it's got glycerin in it, and a betatine, and it helps to temper temporarily reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I didn't realise, and helps your skin to be moisturised and supple. So that sounds really nice. I have, sorry, I've lost my thought. I've, I've enjoyed that one, so I like that one. I will definitely look forward to using the other one, and 
maybe I'll pick up more from Aldi. I have done Aldi face masks before. I'll link that kind of on the end screen or maybe down below. And yeah, that's this week's face mask Friday. I hope you guys are all okay. I know the world is absolutely crazy at the moment. Um, drop me a comment, you know, let me know what you think of the mask. Just say hi if you want to. Like I say, world's a crazy place. Follow me on Instagram if you like, because um, I'm trying to keep that kind of updated, but not with like crazy scary stuff about the world. Just kind of carrying on as normal, talking about makeup and skincare and whatnot mostly, and probably posting pictures of Jake. So yeah, check me out on there if you, if you haven't already. So guys, that is today's Face Mask Friday. If you've enjoyed, then please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already because I'm gonna try and keep videos up on my channel just as normal in the craziness that is the world at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.